Hi kindergarten friends, this is Mrs. Haas. I am hoping that I'm going to be able to teach you how to make a card today for your um, mom or your grandma or your aunt or whoever you want to make your Mother's Day gift for. So um, I have a white piece of paper which most of you probably have at home. Um, if you don't have construction paper, uh, that's no worries at all because you can always color your white paper to make it beautiful and colorful. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold your card. You want to make sure that um, both of the ends meet and you're going to um, just fold it in half like this and you can press along the side and make it look like a book. Now, if you wanted to, you could um, add another sheet and make two sheets so one would go inside, which I can show you. I do have another piece of paper here. It's a little ripped, but just so that you can see the idea. So I would have two pieces of paper. And you could stick it in um, the middle and you could tape it. If you wanted to make your own book um, for your mom and you wanted to write a sentence on every page, that's um, definitely up to you. I would love that if Colton did that for me, but it's not necessary. So today I'm going to only show you um, how to do the one. So here we go. So we want to make sure that your book goes the right way or your card. So kind of like when you're reading your stories, you want to make sure that your book opens from right to left, okay? So you want to make sure that it opens from right to left, like this, okay? Now, on the inside, um, you can do your writing. So what I usually like to do for my class, bear with me here, is we like to um, get the writing done first. So from the last video, we had all different things that we were saying about our moms and our aunts and our sisters and whoever you're writing your cards to. So one of the things um, was I had said, I love you because and then one of the things I said was um, you are beautiful so that's what I'm going to write inside my card um, now, at the top here on this side is where I'm going to write my words. You can choose which side you want to write your words on. I'm going to move you a little bit closer. Hello. <laughs> you could choose which side you want to write your words on, but I'm going to write mine on this side. So I'm going to say, dear, and this is where you can say to whoever you want to write to, I'm going to write mine to my mother. So I'm going to say, Dear Mom, and then I'm going to put a little comma because I'm writing a letter, and I'm going to say, I love you Because you finger space are, you want to make sure that you have your finger spaces and your period, and that your words make sense so that they can understand what you're writing. So, dear mom, I love you because you are beautiful. Sorry about my handwriting. It's a little bit harder to write on this for some reason, the way that it's positioned. So, now, one of the important things is, is to let this person know who is writing the card. So, I want to make sure that I put love and then your name would go here. 
So you could design and draw pictures. You could write another sentence if you'd like. Um, but I wanted to take a little bit of time to show you um, maybe something to do on the front. So one of the things that you can do on the front is you can draw if you don't have construction paper at home. Um, if you do have construction paper at home, I thought it would be kind of fun to show you a way that you can make um, a heart flower. So I have a red piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half kind of like I did with my card. And then I'm going to fold it down. And then I'm going to take the sides and just make sure the sides are nice and tight. There we go. Now, on this side here is where I'm going to make my heart. It has to be the side that um, is closed. We don't want to have it on the side that's open because the heart will fall apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my heart right here on this side, and I'm going to show you by drawing my heart. So when you make a heart, you want to make sure that it goes up and comes around like that. Okay? So once you're done, um, you're going to take your scissors and then you, again you want to make sure that this is on the right side here. So you're going to cut. Now I'm not cutting exactly on my black line. I wanted it to make I wanted to make it a little bit smaller. So here are my two hearts. Now you could, if you wanted to, use this as a flower. You absolutely could. Um, however, I'm going to show you a different way to make a flower that's going to be really, really pretty. So I'm going to choose a different color as well. Let's do pink. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold my paper in half. It doesn't have to be perfect because uh, you're going to end up cutting it anyway. And then I'm going to fold my paper down. And I want to make sure that the area that I'm going to draw my heart on is going to be this area here that is closed. Remember, you have to be careful because this part's closed too, but when you fold it again, this part's open. Kind of tricky, isn't it? So you want to make sure that you draw your heart part on this side. Now, I want the hearts to be the same size as my red one, so I have to make sure that when I draw my heart that I kind of trace the one that I've already done because if I don't, then it's going to... Um, it's going to look a little funny. So I want to make sure, and I'm going to try to do this so that you guys can see it. I want to make sure. There we go. So I traced my heart. And I just want to make sure that you cut it on the right side here. And this should make two hearts for me again. There we go, and then I'm going to open them up, and I have my two hearts again. Alright, so now what we're going to do, now this part is super tricky, and you may need help with this, but hopefully we can do it. Alright, so now on this heart, I'm going to fold the heart, and I'm going to take glue, and I'm just going to glue glue just the one side. You want to make sure that you just glued the one side of the heart. So you take your heart and you close it. And now we're going to put glue just on the one side. Notice I did not glue on this side, just the one side. And then I'm going to take my one side of my pink heart and I'm going to fold this and I'm going to make sure that these two kind of hug or stick, I should say, because I want them to stick. All right, so then it's kind of cool because now it looks like a three-dimensional shape. Pretty neat, huh? All right, so then I'm going to take this pink side and I'm going to glue the pink side that's 
the pink side that I left off on and then oops my heart fell and then I'm going to put the red color. So notice I'm alternating the colors. I'm going back and forth. I'm kind of making a pattern. And then I'm going to squeeze these all together. There we go. Oh boy, it's looking really cool. Okay, so I need... Now, if you look, we did two reds and one pink. So now this color is going to be, it looks red, but it's actually two separate hearts. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pink and I'm going to glue my pink on the side again. So I'm going to fold this in so that I don't get confused. And now I'm going to glue on the red piece that I just had. And I, it's easier to fold your heart in half so that you can make sure that it's going on the right side there. Perfect. All right, so now I have this really cool three-dimensional heart. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... Um, now you can choose if you don't want to glue this here and you'd rather glue it maybe... Um, on the inside you can do that or the back side or however you want but I kind of like it on the front so now I need my stem um, if you don't have green paper you could always draw um, a stem is pretty easy I'm just going to make a really long rectangle that looks like this and I'm going to put glue on my rectangle or my stem. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to cut a leaf. A leaf is, you know, same. It depends on how you want your leaf to look. Leafs are all different, you know, sizes and shapes, and so you can choose how you want your leaf to look. Most of us have had practice with making leaves. And now I'm going to put my heart part on. So you have to be careful because you want to make sure that you end up gluing um, the right side. So the side that you want to glue are the sides that kind of look like this. They have the um, pieces and you can see that they're separated. So you want to glue each of these down and it should be one pink and one red. So I'm going to put glue on all of that and and then I'm gonna make my position here of where I want it to go all right and there you have it it's a three-dimensional heart card. It's pretty cute, right? Now you could write, you know, mom down here if you'd like, or grandmom, or um, really whatever you want. You might even want to say, I love, whoops, I love you. Um, so there you have it. I hope that this helped. Uh, there's all sorts of different things that you can do with your card and enjoy. Have fun.